What's poppin' people? I go by the name of Biz Biller, and I'd like to welcome you back, or if you're here for the first time, this is the New York Mets Franchise Series, Episode 9, coming to you live from Cobb County, Georgia, as the Mets travel to Truist Park to take on the first place 6-3 and three Braves, and you know, I say it all the time, the Phillies are my most hated <laughs> In division rival but I do believe our biggest rival are these Atlanta Braves they're also my res- most respected rival we'll talk about that and more why is that you see Darno going over the game plan with today's starter Charlie Morton one win 4.50 ERA let's see if the Mets can add to that as we kick things off here in the first inning Running them, we're going to take one right down the plate for a strike. So I thought about moving Nemo down in the lineup because he's been struggling as of late. That's right there. He takes a ball. But we're facing a righty today. This is the fifth starter in the Braves rotation. I said, let's give him another go at the top of the lineup. Makes very solid contact right there. And Brandon Nimmo at the top of the lineup going to pay dividends early with a lead-off stand-up double. Got one hit into the gap and a good job by the Mets outfielder to start things off on the right foot for the Metropolitans. All right, so there you see a good swing. Nice see Stalin Marte stepping into the box. It's going to foul that first one off. Marte currently hitting just over 200. One ball, one strike. All right, we got a 1-1 count here. Runner on second, nobody out. Marte chases the high cut fastball. 1-2 count now. Hmm. It's a bullet down the line, but right to the glove of Austin Riley first out here in the top half of the first as right now we'll get a peek at the Mets lineup the second baseman Jeff McNeil. all right now stepping in is Jeff McNeil so shout out Ooh, good pitch right there. Should have taken a hack at that. Shout out to handheld Nintendo fan. On one of the past videos, he was commenting that the Mets in real life have signed J.D. Martinez, which is a good pickup. Here's the only problem with that. Tried to pick him up. Tried to sign him. Right now, we cannot afford that contract. But we can afford a run right here, and Jeff McNeil provides it with a base hit up the middle. And the Mets, who usually give up a gang of runs in the first inning, for a change here, strike first. And we got a 1 0 game. Man on first, one out. And the cleanup spot due up next. Good piece of hitting there by McNeil. Pete Alonzo steps in, batting 364 on the season. The pitch. Inside for a ball. Alonzo currently leading the team in home runs and runs batted in. 421 on base percentage. Huh. Mm. One one. Wicked swerve right there. Slurve. Swerve on the slurve. No, Cutter just misses. Two one count here. Pete Alonso creeping up on 200 home runs for his career. Right there, he'll get 
a fastball for strike two. Mm. Just off on that slurve. Fouls it off. Count remains 2-2. Two -two. Mm, I think I went. Oh, wow. Ump says I did not. Might be a little questionable right there. Either way, runner going to go on this pitch. Full count. Payoff pitch on the way. Alonzo fouls it off. We'll do it again. Truist Park is buzzing. We got a 3-2 count. Ooh, struck me out and throws me out. I wonder was that going to be a ball. Either way, it was close. But McNeil does the job, gets a run home, and the Mets start off with a one nothing lead. All right, on the hill for New York, David Peterson probably had one of the better starts that the Mets rotation has seen in these early nine games 1-0 1.35 ERA 9 K's good whip here comes Ozzy Albies he's been on fire out the gate thanks to the shift McNeil's going to be in position to make the throw to first and retire the first out there let's get a peek at the Braves lineup those of you who watched the New York Yankees franchise that we ran last year, I definitely encourage y'all to go back and watch that if you want to see some good footage. Uh, Austin Riley was a member of that team we had last season. We'll get a look at him with the Braves here as Luke Williams steps in. Peterson has one pitch, one out. That one fouled off, and now Williams down. 0-1 early in the count. So, I mentioned that the Braves are probably my most respected rival opponent, so on and so forth. A lot of you, you know, some of y'all know I live down in Atlanta right now, currently, but you see the 1-2 count. But the respect goes deeper than just being a resident, you know, being around Braves fans. It's, it's, it's bigger than that because even when I lived in New York, those of you who are closer to my age may remember that the Braves used to come on TBS. That's Peterson. Whew. Nasty slider gets Williams swinging and missing. And that'll be his first K on the day, second out of the inning. You can see 11 inch break on the slider right there. Hooks inside, and there's nothing that Williams can do with that one. Wicked pitch. All right, so instead of Ronald Acuna, perennial all star, take strike one. But I was saying it goes much deeper than, you know, being around residents and things of that nature. As I said, the Braves used to come on TBS, same way that the Cubs were on WGN. So a lot of us out of state, as McNeil knocks that one down, makes a good throw, and retires Acuna. We'll finish that story in just a second. All right, Instas Francisco Lindor takes strike one. If you notice, Charlie Morris throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, so we're gonna try to be aggressive with some of the some of the batters early on in this game. It's just not one one count. But as I was saying, you know that the Cubs were on WGN. The Braves were on the Superstation and TBS. So those of us that lived out of market, yeah, we see the Mets and the Braves on our own networks in New York. But 
when you throw them on the superstition, now I get to see the the Braves and the Expos, the the Braves and the Pirates. They get to see random games, so you get familiar with their history, and they've had a very good history. They've been very competitive for a long time, been around for a long time. Uh, one of the coolest memories I have uh, as Alvarez can't hold up the swing. It's down 0-1. One of the coolest memories I have, this is so random. Uh, I was at Popeye's, yeah. You know, getting some chicken, you know the vibes. As slurved there in there for a strike. And as I'm, I, I'm on, I was on a drive through, I didn't, didn't go inside. And um, I see this older gentleman walking to the car as Alvarez swings and misses. And he's walking real slow, you know, he just, just happened to catch my attention. I said, wait a minute. I said, that's Hank Aaron. And I get out the car, you know, I ask him, would he mind taking a quick picture? And he was like, for sure, you know. And you know, I got to tell him he was the real home run king. And, you know, I might be a Mets fan, but, you know, I respect the Rays. And. That was a cool moment, man. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to the late, great legend. The home run king, Hank Aaron. Another home run king right here. Steps in. DJ Stewart, second on the team with four home runs on the season. One, two count here. There's two outs in the second. Morton, very good with that slurve. So far, we've been able to foul it off a few times. One, two count remains. Another one and another foul. Mm. And he, he was confident that he can get us out with the slur, and that he did. Good pitch. Good bounce back in it from Morton. Still one up the Mets. This Braves lineup has a lot of guys doing damage. Here's somebody that has a hit in every game this season. Matt Olson. First pitch from Peterson. Is a sinker on the outside part of the plate for a strike. Olsen slaps that one down the line. We got an 0-2 count now. Hmm. Good job by Peterson setting down on the lefty Olsen. Second strikeout. We'll get one more look at the pit sequence there. Sinker, fastball, slider, textbook. There's now Austin Rally steps into the box. <laughs> Riley looks at a sinker for strike one. So I, I can honestly say, you know, I, I, I'll tell this story now because I'm no longer working for these franchises, but I used to work for the Atlanta Hawks and the Atlanta Falcons, Atlanta United doing security and um i've been even before that but you know, can add that on there too but i have been to a lot of sporting events man like a lot of them got to see a lot of cool moments but i think out of all the matchups whether college football pro football as rally hits one the other way for the Braves first hit of the game I've been to college football, uh, Super Bowls, NFL regular season games, NBA, MLS, even MLB. I wanted to knock off NASCAR this year when they come to Atlanta. I'm knocking that off the list. But point being, there I've been to a lot of matchups. I have ne I don't think I've been to any game or team matchup as much as Braves Mets. I've seen them play in three, no, four stadiums, now that I think about it. Shea Stadium, City Field, 
Truist Park, as well as Turner Field. As Ozunia has a 1 1 count here. A pitch by Peterson. And that will be strike two. 1 2 count to Ozunia. Going to be strike three. Can't hold up his swing. Peterson now has his third K of the game. Not shortstop. Orlando. Arcia. The solid hitters continue to come up here in this Braves lineup as you get a peek at Blooper. Orlando Arcia now in the game. But, I mean, seeing this matchup over the years from different players from Greg Maddox, John Smoltz, David Justice, Chipper Jones, you know what I'm saying, all the way down to the more recent matchups with the players you see today. This is a great rivalry as Orlando Arcia takes that one to opposite field, same way that his teammate Austin Riley did. And the Braves have two on with two out. Peterson with the first pitch is fouled off. Sinker in there for a strike. Peterson has a chance to get out of this inning unscathed. See what he does here on the 0-2 count. Slider going to miss on the outside part of the plate. 1-2 count. Fouled off there. 1-2 count. Weak grounder to second base. McNeil makes the throw. That'll be a third out here. We're heading to the top half of the third. Give me one second. We're going to take a quick break. We'll look at the stats while I take this break. All right, sorry for the delay. Let's kick off this third inning. Charlie Morton going to face Harrison Bader. Going to take a strike right there to start things off. One ball, one strike. All right, one, two count to Bader. There you go. Good time in by the Mets center fielder. Slash that one at the middle and the Mets start off the third with a base hit. Let's take another look at that. Good swing by Bader. Nearly takes out the ump. 
And the Mets have a leadoff man on. And so it's Brad Beatty. Beatty and Bader back to back. <laughs> So as I was saying, I've been to so many Mets and Braves games. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think what's the best one I've been to. Harrison Bader, trying to steal the bag right there. Second stolen base of the season, and the Mets now have a man in scoring position here. But the I I hate to admit this, but I'll tell you guys. After this pitch here, the best Mets game, Mets Braves game I've been to. This one's deep. Should be deep enough for a tag. Here's a throw from the center fielder. Going to be off the mark. And now Bader, 90 feet away from making this a 2 nothing game. Best Mets Braves game I've ever been to was at Truist Park. Um, I, I, I still, it's hard to say this because of what happened at the end. But how exciting the game was, I can admit it's one of the best games I've been to. And I'm not a sore loser, you know what I'm saying? So we lost this game. Um, shout out to uh, Katrina, the homie, you know what I mean? She was in the building with me, her, her fam. I, we, we, had, we was decked out in Mets gear. We were sitting right on the third baseline. And um, the Mets were losing the majority of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Took the lead in the ninth. Seven line army was in the building too. Uh, took the lead in the ninth. Diaz came in the game and blew the save. Like, loaded the bases and blew the save. As you see now, runners are at the corner here for the Mets as Starling Marte steps in the box. He grounded out in the first opportunity here to drive in a run here early in this ball game. Questionable strike there, nonetheless, it is an 0-1 count. But that was it was such a good game how we came back in the in the, the range of emotions and the Braves fans talking trash with them after the game as Marte swings and misses at a pitch nowhere near the strike zone. 0-2 count. Marte makes really good contact on this one. Acuna's all the way back to reel that one in in the gap. But Marte doing his job right there. Hitting it deep enough to allow Harrison Bader to tag on the play. And now McNeil steps in. Mets have a two-zip lead. He singled in the first. Drove in the Brandon Nimmo run in the first. Now here with a chance to keep the inning alive. On one count though. Nimmo on base here. With two outs. Hmm. Probably should have held back on swinging at that one. Nonetheless, it's going to be popped to left. And now we're retired aside for the Mets. But we do get one across the plate. It is now a two-zip game in Atlanta. Lady up for the Braves. The catcher. All right, so here comes the former Met, Travis Darno, stepping in. He ropes one. That's going to be over the head of Brandon Nemo. Going to clap the wall. And going to be a double to start things off here for the Braves. Now, I, I think it's only fair that I give a, a, a good Mets game where we won. I don't think... <laughs> having my best experience at a Mets Braves game be a loss. I don't think that's correct. So best win probably have to go back to like hmm, 96, 97. There's been other wins since then. Don't get it twisted as Ozzy Alvey steps in. But this game was really, really cool. Um, I want to say it's like 96 or 97. Probably 97 or 96. I can't quite remember. But I know we had Engardo Alfonso on the team. These were probably the best seats I had in the Mets game at, at this point. And um, the Mets, we didn't have Piazza yet. I do know that. I don't think we had Piazza yet. But 
we had a, I remember the, us having Alfonso because we were sitting right by third base, like right behind the third base coach. And it was a fly ball, and Agardo Alfonso was right in front of me, like made the catch and everything. It was so cool. Um, as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh my goodness. I almost made a big mistake, though we had a chance for a double play, not remembering that <laughs> Travis Darno had hit a double in his previous at bat. Good uh, cancel of the throw by Beatty, and he makes the throw to retire the first out here in the bottom of the third. So uh, also in that game, Ryan Klesko came down and made a catch not too far from us. That was so cool to me to see players that, you know, you see in the video games and on TV up close like that. That first experience was really cool as Nemo makes the catch and retires his second out here. Hmm. Now faced with the interesting situation here, should we walk Acuna? I see let's pitch to him carefully. If we end up walking him, we'll face Olsen. Pierce it down. 2-0 in the count here. Cunha with the hitters count of 3-1 now. As the sinker is in there for a strike. Another sinker, this one grounded to Pete Alonzo. Steps on first, and now we'll retire the side. Pete's due up this inning. He's going to lead things off, followed by Lindor and Alvarez. Mets lead 2 zip. So I think you should pay some respects as a great Mets player steps up, Pete Alonzo. I'm going to pay some respect to some great Braves players that I've gotten to see in my time. As Pete Alonzo hits that one into the stands, 0-1 count. I think my favorite, I'll give you my top five favorite uh, Braves as Pete takes strike there, 0-2 count. Oh, I'm trying to think, can I do it in order? Alonzo sat down on strikes right there. Fourth K of the game for Morton. Um, at the five spot, I'm going to go with Raphael for a call. If you've never seen him play, man, he had a strong arm, speedy shortstop. He was a really good shortstop. He also played for the Dodgers for some time. Ooh. Francisco Lindor going to send this one into the second deck of the chop house. Yeah, go ahead and flex because that was a bomb. Lindor hits his second home run of the season. And the Mets take a 3-0 lead here in the fourth. Albies almost in disbelief. As Lindor crosses home. Let me see that replay again, man. That was a shot. Hmm. Ooh. And it sat right there. And he sends it 454 feet. That was a bomb. Probably the longest home run in the season we've seen so far. Ooh. That was a little inside. <laughs> Alvarez gives him a little stare. Alvarez 0 for 1 on the day with a K. Did a lot of, took a lot of bad swings in his first at bat. See what he does here in his second trip. Much better at bat already. 2 0 count. Mm, good slurve. Alvarez swings through it. 2 1 count here. Fastball on the outside part of the plate. But it's going to cross the zone. Count even at two. Mm. Laid off the fastball, and he's going to regret it. Fifth K of the game for Morton. 
Okay, so I said number five for Carl. I'm going to go... I'm going to go John Smoltz in the fourth spot. John Smoltz was a really good starter and then transformed his career and was a dominant closer. Just an all-around great pitcher. And if you follow him on TV, great commentator. Also a very good golfer. Shout out to John Smoltz. Um, number three spot. Hmm. Number three spot. I'm gonna go. Hmm, this is tough. I'm gonna go with Andrew Jones. And um, like I said, this ain't gonna turn into a Braves love fest at all. As we continue to beat up on the lander right here, three zip, three two count here to DJ Stewart. Two outs here. Ooh, that was nasty. That's one that DJ Stewart usually drives into the seats, but instead it's strike three. Speaking of driving baseballs into the seats, this one went over the chop house. Three zip Mets. Leading up for the Braves, the first baseman, Matt Olsen. All right, incest Matt Olsen as I try to finish off this top five. So we had Rafael for call at five. At four, who did I say again? Uh, John Smoltz. Number three, I'm going to say Andrew Jones. Andrew Jones, I was getting ready to say, I think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. He's got a great amount of home runs, uh, multiple-time gold glove winner, great arm. Um, the thing that's probably keeping him out is how he ended his career. But I do think he's a Hall of Famer, no question. Um, trying to think. Number two. All right, this is going to be a little biased. It probably would usually be Greg Maddox. But because the guy that I'm going to put here at the number two spot, as Olsen flies this one to left, Nemo gives chase, gets under it, and retires the first out in the bottom of the fourth. This guy, I'm going to put at the number two spot because he played for the Mets as well as the Braves, and he was great for both. Uh, Tom Glavin. Tom Glavin's a all-time pitcher, the same as those other names I mentioned, Maddox and Smoltz, but I got to salute Glavin for putting the rivalry to the side and giving the Mets some good seasons. My my favorite Brave of all time. I love playing against this guy in in the game. He's usually who I pick for home run derbies because he has such a smooth swing and he was a switch hitter. As a one two count now to Austin Riley here. As Peterson looks to get another K. This one's gonna be grounded up the middle. McNeil gives chase, but he's not gonna be there in time. Baird is going to collect it in center field. As we have a one-out hit for Austin Riley, his second of the game. My favorite Brave of all time, Chipper Jones. Real talk, man. Chipper Jones is a legend, dude. Like, I used to love to hate him, but, you know, once he's out the league and he's not killing your team anymore, you can kind of look back like, man, I was a really good player. That's a really good pitch from Peterson and a really nice double play that will set the Braves down again. That time, a 4-6-3 double play. McNeil flips it to Lindor. Lindor barehands it. And the Mets get out of the fourth unscathed. As we say at this time, this isn't John Shambi. This isn't Chris Singleton. This is your boy, Biz Builder, Reverend at BYC Gaming, which stands for Bring Your Controller. And we appreciate you for making the choice to rock with us here, whether you're watching this, whether live or on the playback. It's the top of the fifth. Mets leading three zip. Harrison Bader now stepping in. 
swinging and missing at the circle change down low maybe one of these days when we get a little further into this series I'll give y'all my top five favorite Mets right now we got the 65th pitch on the way for Morton it's a 0-2 count fastball gonna miss on the inside part of the plate And uh, I, I probably should, as you see on the bottom of the screen there, Nick Martinez fires eight innings of two-hit ball and win against the Mets. Just to double back on what that news report said at the bottom, is more than misses with the fastball down low. Nick Martinez had a perfect game against us, a perfect game, not a no-hitter, a perfect game against us. Through, I think, seven innings. I think he didn't give up his first hit until maybe the seventh or the eighth, something like that. Wow. Wow. That is one of the most egregious calls I've seen in MLB The Show. Ladies and gentlemen. That was a ball, if I've ever seen one. That one's going to get more than taken out of the game. Aaron Bummer now making his third appearance on the season. He's pitched five innings with a 3.60 ERA. In steps Brett Beatty, lefty lefty matchup right here. Man on first to start things off. Circle change. Looks like a makeup call to me. It's going to hit the bottom of the zone. As we get a look at the pitches from Bummer, he throws a cutter there. So he doesn't have, he has two all-speed pitches, so we'll probably stay put on first. Not run. Ooh, good pitch right there. One, two count to Beatty. Bader on first. That one misses way upstairs. Two, two count. All right, so I lied. We're going to send Bader. Beatty's going to strike out on that one, but Bader's going to be in there with a stolen base. His third of the season, second of the game. Now, Brandon Nemo steps in. Walked in his last at-bat, also has a double in this game. He's down 0-1 now. Bummer. Has a little bit of a slow... Delivery to the plate. That's what helped Bader get to second. Not going to try to steal third, but we are in a good position to make this a four-zip game. As Nemo skies this one to left, Acuna is going to get under it. Bader's going to easily tag in at second base. And there's going to be two outs here. And Starlin Marte is going to step into the box. Marte already has an RBI to his credit on the day. On the sack fly. Here's the pitch from Bummer. Sinker in there for strike one. Marte, former Pirate, has been very solid since coming over here to the Mets. Big opportunity of driving another run here. Slurve misses low and inside. So you get a look at the beautiful truest part. 1-1 one, one count. Mm. Had a feeling he was going to go back to the sinker. He does just that. Mets unable to tack on another run despite getting a run in the third. Bottom of the fifth due up. All right, in steps Orlando Arcia. He's going to look at a fastball upstairs for ball one. Arcia, a 2023 All-Star. Looking to continue on that success this season as he's pretty much the reason Dansby Swanson is in Chicago. He has really excelled. In that infield role, 
Peterson with a one two count here. Count even after the slider misses. Two two count. Nice curveball there from Peterson. Francisco Alvarez gloves it, throws it to Alonzo. Fourth K of the game for Peterson and the first out. If you get a look at the pitch sequence, that first fastball missed. Everything else very, very strategic. That curveball way out of the zone. And a strike. This one grounded the first. Alonzo steps on the bag. One pitch, two outs now. Now batting. The catcher. Travis. Oh wow! Actually, when I when I heard the catcher Travis Darno, I just thought about somebody that definitely needs to be in the top five. Probably want to take somebody out, but for now he'll just be an honorable mention. Shout out to Javi Lopez, one of the best catchers I got to watch in the '90s. All right, so the Mets wrap it up in the fifth. McNeil, Alonzo, and Lindor do up in the sixth. Leading off for the Mets, the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. All right, incest Jeff McNeil. He gets a sinker for strike one. We're in the top of the six. Once again, you're rocking out with BYC Gaming. If you like what you hear and what you see, just like I do with that hit from Jeff McNeil, be sure to like comment subscribe come on engage with the movement that you need to move with and get in tune with you understand all right so jeff mcneil gets the mets going with the leadoff hit here comes the 0 for 2 pete alonzo here swings at a sinker on the first pitch and that will be a double play i definitely noticed that bummer throws that sinker early in the count and it's a little greedy right there Hit that one right to Austin Riley, who flips it to Albies, and there's now two gone here. As we flash back to the fourth inning, Charlie Morton threw one that just hung over the plate, and Francisco Lindor hung it in the air, and it went long over the chop house, 454 feet, the longest home run of the season for the Mets so far. Let's see what he does for our encores. This time he'll step in from the right side of the box. Takes a sinker for ball one. And look, as I just said, there it is again. Sinker early in the count. So we definitely got to be aware of that while Bummer is in this game. Only 16 pitches so far thrown for Bummer. Right now he's down in the count 2-0. Lindor. Batting 242 on this young season. He's now got himself in the 3-0 count. Alvarez on deck. The pitch. And it's a four-pitch walk. Lindor has done a good job being patient at the plate this season. Right there, drawing another walk. A man who hasn't been patient today for the most part. Two Ks on the day. Alvarez stepping in. He gets the sinker early in the count. Alvarez hitting very well against left-handed pitching. Right now, Bummer not giving these mess hitters much to do anything with. It's a 2-1 count to Alvarez. So we got to make him make this guy throw strikes right now. If we can do that, might get something we can drive as we have these strong right-handed batters up. Hmm. That was probably the one. Looked like it was going to go inside. Instead, it's a 2-2 count. Okay. Make it a full count. DJ Stewart on deck. That one high in the strike zone. Fouled off. Lindor should be going on this pitch. 3-2 count. And it's going to be a walk. 
Mets now with two on here. As a DH, DJ Stewart steps in. Just like Alvarez has his own two Ks on the day. Let's see if, just like Francisco, he can improve on his third at bat. Gets a sinker there for strike one. Nice cutter, but it misses low. 1-1 one, one count. Two one now here to Stewart. Mets with another chance to extend this lead. Yo, now we got three one count against DJ Stewart. Vader on deck and he hits lefties very well. And he will get the chance to step up to the plate here as Stewart draws a walk. Now the Mets have the bases loaded here. Two outs in the bot in the top half of the six. Bader already has a single on the day, as well as two stolen bases after drawing a walk in the fifth. He starts this at bat off with a ball. So Bummer coming a bit unglued here in the sixth. The location on the strike there. One one count. Two and one. Make it two one here. Hmm. All right, two two count here. Bader with a chance to send the Mets up even more. Fouls that one off. Staying alive this is a good at bat right here. Bummer now up to 36 pitches after this next one. Bader drives that one, but it's going to be foul into the upper deck. 2 2 count. Tried to hold up. Ump says we went. And the Braves are going to kick things off with Albies, followed by Williams and Acuna in the bottom of the six. Leading up for the Braves, the second baseman, Ozzy. Ozzy. And in steps K Camp. I don't know why I think he looks like KK, but Ozzy Alvi steps into the box. 133 home runs in his eight seasons as he swings and misses. Peterson now trying to complete his sixth inning of work. 60 pitches on the game so far. And now in a 2-2 count against Albies here. This one going to be grounded to Pete. Pete not going to be able to make it to first himself, so he tosses it to Peterson, who beats Albies in the foot race. And we got one out here in the bottom of the six. So you guys let me know. I think I'm thinking about doing some kind of vlog or something next week. Um, probably gonna get tickets to see Georgia Tech versus um, Boston College a little baseball game, and then I'm also thinking about hitting a Braves game. When they play the Mets a couple weeks from now. As Peterson gets a swing and miss there. You see the pitch count for the day. He has been nothing but solid. This one's going to be grounded to Lindor. Going to have to make this throw quickly. And Williams is retired. 
midfielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna. So we can go ahead and start warming up some arms. We'll get Bickford as well as Jorge Lopez going. Peterson gets a generous call right there. Acuna, 0 for 2 in today's ball game. Braves fans trying to will their team on. No, that's a ball. As Acuna now works to count to 2 1. Ugh. 3 1 count here to Acuna. And a nice pitch from Peterson at the top of the zone. Gets Acuna to swing. We got a full count here. Payoff pitch on the way. And it's knocked into the Mets dugout. We'll do 3 2 all over again. And that's going to be a walk. Acuna on base for the first time today. First walk of the day for David Peterson. Instead, Matt Olson. Having himself a very good season, batting better against lefties than righties. Today, Peterson has kept him in check. The runner went on that one, but it's going to be fouled off. 0-2 count now to Matt Olson. And Peterson with a nasty changeup. And the Braves have sat down on strikes once again. David Peterson continues his dominance here. As the Mets lead three zip. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Braves, number 68, Tyler Metzik. All right, so Metzik steps into the game. He had himself a flawless performance last time out. Brett Brad Beatty now steps in. As we got the lefty lefty matchup to kick things off here in the top of the seventh. Beatty fouls that one off. I feel like that was a really long half of the inning. That last one. Definitely a lot of pitches thrown. And now Beatty takes this one for a drive. I don't know if it's gonna stay fair though. It's gonna just barely get into the seats. Beatty now in an 0-2 count. Mm. Nice slider. And there's a K. And steps Brandon Nemo. Try to get creative there, but it's going to be a foul ball. Mm. Nasty slider. As we got some more arms going in the Braves bullpen. That's a ball. One ball. Slider misses low. We got a 1-2 count. Make it 2-2. Two, two. Nemo has a double, a walk, and a fly out the right field in today's ball game. Right there, he made some really good contact. Is it going to stay in the park? It will not. Brandon Nemo, who, again, I said we we're going to think about taking him out of the lineup. He has paid dividends now. He sends his first home run of the season into the bullpen. And the Mets now lead four zip here. There you see Marte and Nemo. Slapping five right there. As this one, I thought it was going to bounce off of that brick right there. I was going to make an attempt to uh, go for a triple. 
But instead, we have ourselves a 4 nothing ball game as Starlin Marte steps into the box. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Did drive in a run on a sack fly. Matt Sick. The 1-0. One one count here. Ball. So we now got a two one count. Mm. Nice curveball. Didn't realize he only had three pitches. Two two count here. Three balls. Two strikes. 3-2 now, Jeff McNeil on deck. And Starlin Marte going to draw the one-out walk here. The batter number one, second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Here comes Jeff McNeil, who has two singles in today's ball game. So there we get a pitch out. Nothing going there. Oh. Definitely interested in advancing the runner here. Hmm. Filed that one off. One two count. That's the ball. That one misses Get upstairs. Off. Two two count. Hey, Marte back in time. Mm. That's a mistake on my part. Didn't mean to swing at that. Up next for the bat, the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. All right, instead of Alonzo, we got two outs here in the seventh. Alonzo definitely due for a hit. See if he can get one here with Marte on first. This one's inside, and it's going to be in time to get Marte at second. Brandon Nimmo, though, the hero in the seventh there. We're getting ready to stretch in the Mets. Leading up for the Braves, the third baseman, Austin Riley. Oh, here comes Austin Riley. Takes the first pitch strike from Peterson. This one gonna be slapped up the middle. They sit there. Hmm. Should we keep in Peterson? Let's see who's due up next. We got a Zunia up. I'm gonna bring in Bigfoot. That'll be the day for Peterson. Had himself a good ball game. Phil Bickford now pitching in his seventh game of the season. Chance for him to bounce back. Had a rough one in his last appearance. As Ozunia fouls that one off. We now got a 2-2 count. Was when you're able to foul that one off. 0-2 count. Can't catch up with the 95 mile power fastball there. And Bigford gets his first K of the day. Also rally, not a third, not a stolen base threat, so probably should have held on to that pickoff attempt. 
Garcia stares at strike one. Gonna swing through the slider right there. O2 count. Checking his hole, checking his bat to see if it had a hole in it. <laughs> O2 count. This one's gonna be popped up. Jeff McNeil gonna get under it. Two outs now here in the bottom of the seventh. Now batting, left fielder, Jared Kelnick. All right, Jared Kelnick now stepping in. Left-handed bat. He's going to ground one to Lindor. He's going to have to make a strong throw to first. He does just that. And the Mets with another scoreless inning. Six outs left for the Braves to make something shake. Mets going to try to add on some more runs. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Braves, number 77, Joe Jimenez. All right, so Joe Jimenez is the new pitcher here in this ball game. He starts things off against Pete Alonso with a 96 mile power fastball. So you see the arms getting ready in the pen. We got a righty and a lefty. Twenty one thousand two hundred and sixty four fans packing out Truist Park. Right now, their Braves are down 4 0, the same way Joe Jimenez is down 2 1 in this count. Top of the eighth, nobody out. Pete fouls it off. We got the count back even at two. All right, that one misses on the inside part of the plate. We got a full count to Alonzo here. And Pete going to extend the lead. Another one sent to the chop house, this time to the seats. And the Mets now have a 5 nothing lead as P. Alonzo jumps all over that fastball from Joe Menez for his sixth home run of the year. Again, Ozzy Albies in disbelief. And the Mets extend their lead here. Five zip. As we get another look at Alonzo hitting that one the opposite way. No doubter. It was a bullet, too. Got out of here in a hurry. 103 on the exit velo. And the Mets are comfortably ahead here. In the eighth, as now Francisco Lindor steps in. He has a home run on the day. Won't happen this time. He's going to ground out. And that'll be the first out here. In the eighth. In steps Francisco Alvarez. Two Ks and a walk. Trying to put the ball in play this time. Fouls off the slider there. Alvarez with one home run on the season. That's Pete Alonzo now two home runs away from 200 for his career. Joe Jimenez now with the 0-2 count on Frankie Alvarez. Ball misses low. Alvarez chops this one to Albies. And Albies retires another player there. Two gone. Up next for the Mets, the designated hitter, DJ Stewart. DJ Stewart steps in, similar to Alvarez. Two Ks on the walk. Stewart ahead 2-0 here. The righty Jimenez. 
looking to get out of this inning without giving up any more runs. Mets with other plans. Stewart now. 3-0 count. Takes a slider there for strike one. Mm. Fastball close right there. It's going to be a strike. 3-2 now. Stewart hits us the opposite way. But the left field is going to be there to make the catch. And the Mets are retired. But not before Pete sends one the opposite way and puts the Mets up. 5-zip in the eighth. All right, Phil Bickford gets us going with a foul tip strike to Travis Darno. Darno has come to Atlanta and had a lot of success after his time with the Mets. No success there as Bickford gets him swinging on a nasty changeup. The there's one Second gone here. Ozzie. Ozzy Albies stares at strike one. Love the way Bigford is attacking right now, going at right at these guys. Quick 0 2 count against Albies. Fastball misses on the inside part of the plate. We got a bullet hit down the line. Shift was on. Pete Alonzo was ready for it. We've got two outs here in the eighth. Luke Williams swings through that one. 0 1 count. Bigford fouls up with another fastball. That one is fouled off. Williams now an 0 2 count. Pull it down the line. Beatty gloves it. Gonna have to make a strong throw. He does just that. And now we got one more inning of baseball left as the Mets with a 5 0 lead. Beatty, Bader, and Nemo. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Braves. Number 52, Dylan Lee. Right, here comes Harrison Bader. Good swing on the first one, but it's going to be foul. No, that's a hmm. Could have been a strike, but it's a 1 1 count. Dylan Lee. New pitcher for the Braves. No. The lefty now down 2-1 here to Harrison Bader. Bader has stolen a pair of bases in this game. Ball three. And right now, potentially has himself another walk in front of him as this is 3-1 count. Hey. Make the three, count three. now full. 3-2 from Lee. Thank you, mate. That one misses inside, and Bader now moves to first. Hey. So I actually wanted to pinch hit for Beatty right here with Mauricio, but I didn't think about it in time. 
All right, runner goes, and Beatty has another stolen base. Beatty was our guy in that department last season. It's a good jump here. And now the Mets with the runner in scoring position here. 0-2 count from Lee. Now 1-2. Beatty just missed a home run earlier. Let's see if he can put one in play here. 2-2 two -two count. Beatty 0 for 3 with 2 Ks. He's in a 2-2 two -two count here. Ooh. Nice change up. Serves his purpose, changes speeds, and retires Brad Beatty there. As now Brendan Nemo steps into the box. Two for three day for Nemo. Nemo with an even count, looking to drive in Beatty here. Seal this thing for the Mets. Slider misses low. Dylan Lee with his 15th pitch of the inning on the way. This one going to be grounded to short. Arcia makes a throw to Olsen. And that's the second out in the top of the ninth. The right fielder, number six. Starling Martez. Good swing timing on that. Not a good swing result. No, As Marte one ball. No stares at ball one. Mets with two outs here. Harrison Bader on second. No, he's in. As Albies will throw over and we'll get the throw over from Lee. You see Bader inching off of that bag there at second. Has Dylan Lee's attention. Two on count now to Marte. Lee nearly gave up. Another RBI there to Marte. But instead, the count is still 2-2. Two -two. Mm. Good change up. Swing and a miss for Marte. That will retire the side for the Mets. Acuna, Olsen, and Riley, the big hitters, do up for Atlanta. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the New York Mets. Number 73, Jorge Lopez. All right, in comes Jorge Lopez. Throws a first pitch strike to Ronald Acuna, who walked in his previous at bat. So now we got a 0 2 count. One ball, two strikes. That right, one misses way outside. This curveball stays in the zone. It's going to be popped to right field. And there's Marte to make the play. Sinker misses low. There's a 98 mile power fastball from Lopez. This time 99 on the gun. And Olsen swings through it. And he sat down on K's again after the nasty curveball is swung on and missed. And now Austin Riley, who is three for three with three singles on the day. He steps in looking to keep this game alive for the Braves. Powers one down the line. It's gonna be foul. Swinging a miss on the curve. And now the Braves down to their final strike. Here's Lopez and the Mets 
Look to bounce back after losing that series against the Reds, two games to one. Looking to start a four-game series off here with the Braves on the right foot. One-two count. This one hit to right field. Starling Marte is under it. And the Mets get their first win of the season against a divisional opponent. And it just happens to be the first place, first place Braves. And now we are tied for first place after 10 games here in this MLB season. Jorge Lopez with a good appearance here. David Peterson with his second, second stellar start. A shutout for the Mets. He's now 2-0 on the year. Charlie Morton now 1-1 one one after the Mets score five against these Braves. Getting it done, getting hits, hitting home runs, three to be exact. Francisco Lindor getting things started. Then Brandon Nimmo with a solo shot. Get out of here. And Pete Alonso just putting the finishing touches on what was a very solid performance from the Metropolitans as the Amazons walk away with a 5 nothing shutout victory in Atlanta, starting the series off right. Brandon Nimmo's your player of the game. A home run, a walk, and a double. He scored two runs and drove in a run as well. Oh, a modest seven hits for the Mets, but it's what we did with those hits. Turned them into five runs. Five hits for the Braves, but just was not enough to get the victory. We'll take a look at the box score for the New York Mets, and we'll leave it here. If you like what you see, be sure to tap in, leave a like, so on and so forth. Shout out to Hooky out there in the comments. Just appreciate the love. Keep coming back, keep pulling up, keep showing love, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else out there, if you like what you hear, what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. This is BYC Gaming. Follow us on Twitch and Instagram at BYC underscore gaming. On Twitter, aka X, at BYC Gaming Online. On TikTok, while you can, at BYC.gaming. And on YouTube, at BYC Gaming. Everything else is bringing you classics. And that's what we're going to keep trying to do here on the channel. We appreciate y'all tapping in. Much love. We ghosts. We out. We gone.